Equipment Editor Jim Park here, coming to you from Washington, D.C., where Volvo Trucks has just unveiled its $40 million super truck. It's a concept vehicle with highly refined aerodynamics and some brand new powertrain technology. Fuel economy testing has shown this truck is capable of more than 12 miles per gallon in an on-highway duty cycle. We're standing outside the U.S. Department of Energy headquarters on Independence Avenue in the heart of Washington, D.C., where Joran Nyberg, the president of Volvo Trucks North America, is about to present the super truck to U.S. Energy Secretary Dr. Ernest Menez. We are very pleased and excited about uh -huh. delivering this product and also to, to uh, be fully energized to get into the next phase of the super truck troop. So, so what's going to be your on, on road mileage? We, we have, during the product, we, we exceeded 12 miles per gallon and actually we have continued to tweak the product. So we have had test runs now with over 13 miles per gallon. So and that's really the baseline of about seven? Seven, yes. Seven. Seven. Yeah. You heard right, 12 miles per gallon and up to 13 miles per gallon in some tests, up from a baseline of seven miles per gallon on a 2011 model year truck. That's a 70% increase in fuel efficiency. But to be fair, the 2011 truck was a widely available working highway tractor, while the super truck features a lot of advanced technology that's not yet ready for market. But that's the thing. The super truck is a demonstration project to show what's possible and what has good potential for commercialization at some point in the future. For example, the frame in the truck is made almost entirely of aluminum. That reduces weight by about 900 pounds, but it's too expensive for a production truck. The roof, hood and side fairings are made of carbon fiber. They're durable and light, but again, too expensive for the current market. The Volvo Super Truck incorporates a waste heat recovery system that ups the thermal efficiency of the engine from 42 to 50 percent. As other Super Truck projects have concluded, waste heat recovery is a technology with potential, but it's presently too complex and too expensive to deliver the return on investment that the market wants. It's important to remember that the money Volvo and other super truck teams got from the Department of Energy was to spur development of technologies that might not find their way into market immediately, but maybe in five or ten years. You know, we had some other teams as well, uh, and it's the same story. Some of the technologies, particularly I, I would say the aerodynamics, the, the, uh, the engine, drivetrain integration issues, I think those are issues that are coming into the market now, whereas other things like advanced heat recovery, uh, I think we heard it today and I heard it with others, uh, those are going to take long part of the commercial offering. So, you know, we're going to see these technologies entering uh, not as like one super truck, I think for any of the vendors, but actually as a set of technology lessons incorporated with time as the costs come down also for all the technology. Several new ideas came from this project that have already been incorporated into Volvo trucks or will be for 2017, such as the enhancements to the engine and powertrain. These include a revolutionary new piston design that improves combustion efficiency and almost eliminates soot production. The common rail fuel injection system was optimized for the new piston design and turbo compounding was used to turn exhaust stream energy into motive power. Volvo has also developed a hotel load system that uses captured energy from the truck rather than energy produced just for the purpose of running air conditioners and hotel loads. It modified the charging system using two smaller alternators, solar collection panels on the roof and lithium batteries for storage. The system charges only when the truck is coasting so it doesn't draw any energy from the engine that would otherwise go to powering the truck. So what did the Department of Energy get for its $20 million contribution to the project? The funding was matched dollar for dollar by Volvo, by the way. Well, they get a proof of concept truck that is 3,000 pounds lighter than a 2011 baseline tractor trailer combination. It's 70% more fuel efficient. It offers 88% better freight efficiency, and it cruises fully loaded at highway speed at an astonishing 12 miles per gallon. Volvo engineers took a systems approach with the truck, incorporating all the elements together rather than trying to optimize each system in isolation. The results, I think, speak for themselves. Well, that's a really quick look at the Volvo Super Truck project. We're hoping to set up a test drive on the truck sometime in the new year. In the meantime, you can check out our other videos on the Cummins Peterbilt and Daimler Super Trucks on our YouTube channel, Today's Trucking One.
for heavy duty trucking and today's trucking, I'm Jim Park in Washington, D.C. at the unveiling of the Volvo Trucks North America's Super Truck Project.